Hi everyone, let's try to solve another problem similar to the previous problem. We have the question like this. It is the 23rd question. So the question is a frustrum of a cone based diameter 50 mm, top diameter 25 and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a square slab of sides 80 mm and thickness 30 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids. The front and top view might be given or may not be given. Usually they don't give the front and the top view. So we have to draw without this. Here, this problem is similar to the previous where we can see the frustrum of cone of base diameter 50 and 25 and height 50 mm. It is similar to the previous one, but the difference is we have a square slab of 80 mm sides. So let's try to draw it using the software. Now we'll take the line and we'll take the line as normal, sorry, visible so that we will draw the square slab first. So it is of 80 mm. So we will start from this side. So we'll give it as 80, the angle as 30. Again, length as 80, angle as 150, then 80, angle as minus 150, then again 80, angle as minus 30, so that we can draw it at a stretch. Now, so we have to create another square slab of thickness 30, so we'll project the line downwards of 30 mm down. So either you can click it out here in the same way that I have doing now, from here, place it out here and then connect, and then from here, again 80 you can give it as 30 or as you can project the line downwards and then connect it all together once we have done with this square slab we'll find the center of this particular slab so that we can place the frustum of the cone so after we do this we have to draw the frustum of cone so for that we'll draw a square of 50 mm sides because the base uh, diameter is 50 enter 30 50, 150, 50, minus 150, 50, minus 30. After we have this, we'll divide this particular square from the end to end. If you want, you can zoom this or else you can draw it directly. It's upon your personal choices, you can zoom or may not zoom it. Come here till here. Once we have this, to draw the arc, I will zoom this particular area and then I will draw it. Take the three points arc from this particular point to the end of this and tangential to this. So make sure you change the line to visible. So Always try to keep the arcs in the visible line. So whichever lines has to be highlighted, it should be in the visible. That means the main object we have drawing should be kept visible so we'll make a copy of this particular down portion that we have done and we'll scale it down so we have 25 at the top so 25 divided by 50 the actual dimension so we'll get it scaled down to 25 if you want you can check it out with the dimensioning so here you see it as 50 and here you see it as 25 after this we have to specify the axis length so we'll take the center command line center command and we'll specify the length as 50 and the angle as 90 and or else we'll click it there now i'll zoom this to look at the center i will trim this particular lines so that i'll get the center of this select this particular before selecting it make sure you complete this from this particular end to this particular end and click it out here and turn the line to visible so once we have done it select it use the move command click at that tip and place it out here once we have placed it draw the tangent lines from here to the top surface from the bottom to the top surface after we have done we have to place this particular thing here so we delete the excess lines the lines out here and the lines from here and the lines out here so if you can't zoom sorry if you can't trim it you can click and then trim it we have the other lines to trim out here and we'll fit it out here and we'll zoom this particular area and then we'll place it out here on top of this particular 
line and if you want we'll trim the lines inside it we'll trim these lines also fit it out and after we do that plus control a and scale it down 0 0.8164 and place it anywhere on the screen that you need after this delete this dimension which are not necessary if you want you can trim the lines which are inside and here completes the problem